hop in, hop in hotel, motel in Asiana Baranaki. So yeah, very super basic as you can see. That's exactly what I was looking for. Something super basic. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got no breakfast, no um, toothbrush, anything like that. But it's got a safe. Got everything you need for a comfortable night's sleep. A little bit noisy, but uh, that's alright. Got a 7 Eleven on the ground floor, right next to reception, and two blocks away. There's an Ayala Mall, which happens to be closed now at 7 o'clock on a Friday night. But that's okay, I might uh, head up there tomorrow, it's got cinemas and all that. Let's see how we go. Right near the Asian Mall, Mall of Asia. Um, yeah, it's good. Caught a metered taxi from Ninoy, <laughs> Ninoy Aquino International Airport. It's 375 pesos plus 45 pesos for the Skyway. I gave the guy $500, uh, 500 pesos, so a bit of a tip. So yeah, 550 pesos to get here from Inoue Aquino International Airport. I've got the receipt here. Uh, it's not, not a super cheap hotel by any means. It's 4,600 pesos for two nights. Paying for position right near Mall of Asia and Pretty close to Ninoy Kino International Airport. Looks pretty good to me so far. I'll give it a four out of five. First things first is going to be load up the safe. <laughs> my here's my art tip: work out the combination before you put your valuables in. And then I'm off to 7-Eleven to get some essentials. I don't think I've even got a refrigerator. Come to think of it, so but that's all right. Aircon works good. Thought I might downgrade it to a 3.5 out of 5. Mainly because there's no fridge. Plenty of space for a fridge. Uh, I'd have thought that would be a an essential for a hotel room, but not for this one. Got a couple of movie channels, but uh, I was surprised that there's actually a movie channel list but when I tested it. Um, the channels don't line up with the numbers on the list. <laughs> Can't see much in the way of movie channels. Okay, all the stuff's in the safe. Uh, no valuables left out. I'm off to 7-Eleven, grab a SIM card. So I am here at the hop in Asiana. Baranaki Manila and I'm gonna go and check out the Ayala Mall two blocks away. Apparently I can walk there. Well that was a lot of fun. Ayala Manila Bay Mall. Pretty much one of the standard malls around Manila, I reckon. My hotel's just two blocks away, so I'm gonna walk back to the hotel. Right, it's a pretty quiet around these parts. Uh, Saturday afternoon, gonna be kind of busy. How's this? Downtown Manila. The roads are quiet as. Unbelievable. Right, I'm off to Mall of Asia, the biggest shopping centre in the Philippines, I think. Don't know exactly how to get there. It's about 15 minute walk, I'll be. Okay, now that I've been here at the Hop In for two nights, let me tell you some things that I love and some things that I don't love. The thing that I love the most is having a 7 Eleven downstairs right next to reception it's only a very small small store but it's got all the essential things that you need second thing that i love is being close to the shopping malls 
It's about a 10 minute walk to Ayala Manila Bay, which is a brand new mall, medium size, and it's got all the good stuff there. It's about a 20 minute walk to the much bigger Mall of Asia, a mall which I found a little bit too busy, a bit old and tired, but if you want to see the biggest mall in Manila, well worth a walk. Another thing I love is the fact that it's brand new. 2023 looks like it's only maybe a year or two old and it's got the new hotel feel about it. Another thing I love is the bed. I like a firm bed. This bed is firm but not hard. It's still it's got like a mattress topper or something to make it nice and comfortable yet firm. And I do love that feature wall over there. It certainly bright, brightens the place up from being a drab hotel standard white walls. Now for some things that I don't really love. Let me say first of all, it's a budget hotel, cost me 20, no, 4,800 pesos for two nights, which is a little over $40 US a night. And I did get the bare minimum cheapest room. So you get what you pay for. <laughs> but um, come on guys, a kettle would have been nice. Kettle and a couple of cups. I sorely miss having a kettle in the room. Shelving is at a premium. Even using the TV shelf, because there's a TV shelf and there's a desk. That's about it for shelving. <laughs> oh, of course, there's a little bedside table, which I think they could have put two of those instead of one. Another thing I didn't really love is the aircraft noise. You're pretty much um, under the flight path here, as is quite a lot of Manila, so you do get a lot of. Um, jet planes flying overhead and most of Manila would be used to that I'm not really used to it might be worth putting in some earplugs another thing I didn't really love is the noise from outside so it's essentially a stopover hotel from Manila Airport and you've got um, travelers here arriving and leaving at all sorts of odd hours three o'clock in the morning you'll get you might get some noisy people uh, heading out to catch their early morning flight and some of them tend to get a bit noisy. Might be worth putting in some earplugs. One more thing I didn't really love is walking around the streets at night. It's not really pedestrian friendly. You can walk to the shopping malls. I walked back from Mall of Asia at 11 o'clock at night. Didn't feel safe. Um, there's very few pedestrians on the street, not designed for pedestrians. You see a lot of uh, police on motorcycles cruising around, so obviously there's some trouble in the area. I would not recommend walking around at night. Overall, you get what you pay for. I paid for a cheap, comfortable hotel near the airport. That's exactly what I got. Uh, very happy with Hopkins. Asiana City, Baranaki, Manila. Oh, stars. Yeah, I'll give it four out of five.